Hello, my name is Prachet and welcome to my channel. I have made a new project and I would like to share this project with you so that you can also make it. So with this project, you can control electrical appliances from a remote location using your smartphone, laptop, or if there is no internet, you can also use a remote control. So I'm going to draw the circuit diagram and show you the components simultaneously. And this is going to be a boring ride. Stay tuned with me. Power comes from this SMPS adapter, 5 volt, 1 ampere. It goes to AMS 117 3.3 volts voltage regulator module and this module gives us 3.3 volts output which will be fed to our ESP01 board so this is our ESP01 it has got 8 pins this is ESP01 it has got 8 pins on the top there is golden antenna so this pin is 3.3 volts and this pin is cheap enabled which are shorted and given to 3.3 volts. This pin is the reset pin, which will be connected to one button, which will go to ground. So the ground is common in the entire project, ground is common between 5 volts and 3.3 volts. You can see this ground is common. This ground, this ground all are connected to the same node. This is ground, it's connected to ground. This here is TX transmit pin and this is Rx. So Tx and Rx are the two pins, very important, which are connected to the FTDI module, which is nothing but USB to UART, converter which will convert Rx, Tx, okay. So it will take USB signals from the computer. You can also use CP2102X or you can also use this FTDI module, which one is cheaper and convenient to you, you can use that. So Rx will go to Tx and Tx will go to Rx for the programming to work. Okay, communication to work, serial communication. And ground will be connected to the common ground. We are not using this chip to power the ESP01. So the 3.3 volt pin from this is not used. Just we are using common ground so that this communication should take place. So once we connect Rx and Tx pins, the remaining two pins of ESP01, which is GPIO0, okay, this is GPIO0 and this is GPIO2. GPIO0 needs to be grounded in programming mode. So I will uh, take this GPIO0 here, okay. So I'm connecting it to one switch. One end is connected to ground. Other end is connected to our IR. So this is our IR receiver. It will receive signals from uh, our remote and the output will be fed to GPIO0 only when the switch is in this state. But when we want to programming mode, we'll flick the switch and it will be connected to ground. So this must be connected only in programming mode. So in case if you are not aware of how to program the ESP01, I've made an entire video on how to upload program in ESP01. Take a look at that video, link is in the description. Then GPIO2 is connected to LED. So this LED will light up when signal will receive from this IR receiver. This is to on and off. So when on signal will receive, GPIO2 will turn on this LED. And similarly from a web server, if a signal is received to on, GPIO2 will turn on. So how this LED will uh, activate a relay? So the answer is the LDR. So this is the LDR which is connected through a 1K resistor to 5 volt and it's pulled down using a 1K resistor, sorry, 4.7K resistor and 1K is used in series with this LDR and the node is given to one transistor because we don't want, when light falls on this LDR, the resistance drops, right? And if the resistance drops to zero, we don't want maximum current because this will damage this transistor. So we are using one resistor and negative will go to the collector, activating the relay, okay. Relay will turn on, which will turn on the, our lamp, our load. So I'm using one bulb as a load. So when this LED turns on, light falls on the LDR, 5 volt goes to the base of this transistor, which is BC547. So this is BC547, Place the flat side towards you, right side pin is uh, emitter, middle pin is base, 
left side pin is collector so signal will jump from emitter to collector this relay will activate this is 5 volt relay the output is 230 volts 7 ampere so load not greater than 1.6 kilowatt should be connected to this if the load is greater than 1.6 kilowatt it will definitely burn this relay coil so you can obviously power a bulb fan with this relay one more thing i need to say that while programming also disconnect this gpio2 because the gpio2 pin naturally turns high while programming so let's make this circuit and i will show you in practical how this works so here is the circuit diagram made on the breadboard the FTDI modules RX and TX are connected to TX and RX of ESP01 module. This is TSOP38 IR receiver. The first pin is connected to ground, second pin is connected to 3.3 volts and this pin is the output pin which is connected to GPIO0 and this is a GPIO2 pin which is connected to an LED. So when this GPIO2 turns high, light falls on this LDR which will activate this transistor which will turn on this relay so what i have done is i have enclosed this in a black tape this ldr and led so that no external light will fall on this ldr there is one resistor in series with the led which goes to the ground this is of 220 ohms there is one diode in reverse bias in parallel with the relay coil this diode is to protect the relay coil from high voltage spike so if you are interested to know how to make this relay module and what is NO and NC pins in the relay then go through the video. The link is in the description. So that video will guide you how to make a relay module. I have connected power to this entire thing. But before turning on the power I would like to tell you that if, if, you, are, if you have made the connections and the power supply is off right. So now if the GPIO2 pin is connected to the a load then you will turn on the power adapter then this thing will happen this blue light will glow and the entire thing will not work this is a drawback so we need to turn off the power supply when you disconnect the gpio2 pin from the load the gpio2 pin must not be connected while turning on the power right when we turn on the power and you can see the blue led is not lit up on the module after turning on the power supply then we have to connect the gpio2 pin to the load okay then only it will work now let's connect the ftdi module to the com port so before connecting it to the com port also we have to disconnect the gpio2 pin you connect the com port then again you hook the GPIO2 pin to the load okay and in this way now uh, you have connected the ESP module to the COM port now let's go through the code and understand how the code works then upload the program and see the practical working of this project so before uploading this program to the ESP board I would like to tell you that first you have to make the ESP board compatible with Arduino IDE if you have not done it then watch the beginners guide video the link is in the description it will show you how to make the ESP board compatible with Arduino IDE then only you can upload this code so at the very top you have to include the ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h this will allow us to connect the ESP board to the Wi-Fi you have to install this library then you have to also install the ESP async web server.h library in order for this program to work then IR remote ESP8266 library also you have to install Okay, after installing all these three libraries, you have to include all these libraries at the top, top of the code. Then you have to add the Wi-Fi SSID and password. So you can also use your mobile hotspot or your home Wi-Fi. And the output is connected to GPIO2. So this is the variable which is index HTML, index underscore HTML. And I'm storing it in program memory which is the flash memory of ESP board and this entire web page the HTML code which represents the web page is stored in the ESP board so the ESP board is acting as a web server it will serve us this HTML web page when we request on its IP address so initially it will connect to the Wi-Fi this is the function for Wi-Fi 
then it will start looking for which Wi-Fi to connect to then it will print connecting to Wi-Fi once it's connected it will print the local IP address which will copy and paste it in our browser from anywhere uh, from our mobile phone also we can do it also from the laptop then server dot on this is very important so this slash means the root okay the IP address of our server so when we will request it on the root when we'll type this IP address on our from the client side the response is this HTML web page okay so when there is a request on the root the response is index.html index underscore HTML which is nothing but the web page is served to us by the ES3 board and when the request is on slash on one it will turn on the LED high and it will send the, the HTML page with by calling this processor function which will replace the state with on okay because now the LED is on it's turned on right when it will receive request on slash off it will turn the LED off so in this way this code works now let's upload this code in the ESP module first I'll go to tools I will select generic ESP8266 board I will check the COM port yes it's proper COM port then I will hit on the upload button so the code is compiling I will put this board in programming mode and how I will do this I will disconnect the GPIO 0 connect it to the ground I will disconnect the GPIO 2 pin okay and as you can see the connecting that means it's connecting and you can see that the light is flashing on this receiver model I will press the reset button and the programming should start yes so it's writing that means the program is getting uploaded in this board yes so the program is uploaded now you have to reset it so I have to go back from the programming mode to the normal mode and the way we do it is by disconnecting the GPIO 0 pin again connecting to the PSOP output first we'll reset then we'll connect the GPIO 2 pin okay so in this way we have done we have uploaded the code and also we have pressed the reset button so the code is now activated we are ready to see the project in action so we'll open the serial monitor here now I opened the serial monitor I've connected the bulb in series with the relay and I'll press this button on the IR remote and you can see that the bulb turns on you press this button another button the bulb turns off and you can see the two codes are getting printed on the serial monitor so this first code corresponds to on that means LED will turn high when this code is received and the second code corresponds to LED low so when this code is received the LED will turn low in this way you can program any button in this remote for on and off and also you can use any other remote so this is the way this IR remote works you can turn on and off a bulb let's turn on the hotspot so this will connect to Wi-Fi automatically okay and one IP address is printed on the serial monitor so once this IP address is printed you just copy this IP address and paste it in the browser like this and you can see it's not serving us web page that because not connected to the Wi-Fi our laptop has to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so when I will connect to the Wi-Fi the ESP module will serve us the web page yes so it has served us the web page now if I turn the on button so press on the on button the bulb turns on so press on the off button the bulb turns off if at this point if suppose there is a internet cutoff there is no internet I can also use IR remote as an alternative okay so in this way I can also use the web dashboard to control the relay and also I can use the IR remote isn't it cool so in this way I can use both the options this was the video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this project 
all the details are mentioned in the blog the circuit diagram and the code link is given in the description thanks for watching